Hey everyone, it's Pat from Pat's Ever Music. Welcome back to another video and thank you so much for joining. So hopefully you watched last week's uh, key signature video. If you didn't, there's a link to that in the description. So it's all about key signatures. It's all the important theory that you need to know. But hey, if that theory video was too much for you, if it's too long, if you're a little bit unsure, that's okay. Everything's compiled into this video. So when we're talking about chords within a key signature, what does that even mean? understand that it's a, such a powerful tool and once you understand this by the end of the video you'll be able to write your own songs and hey that's what being a musician is all about being able to write your own songs or even if you don't want to write your own songs you can learn other people's songs you can start seeing patterns music is all just patterns it's just the same things used over and over again so thank you for joining grab a guitar and let's start 30 second recap on the last video we talked about key signatures what is a key signature all that it is is a group of notes so just that's all you need to do. Understand a key signature is a group of notes. So if I said to you the key signature of C major, all right, it would sound like this. What was that? <laughs> that was the C major scale, but it's also all the notes in C major key signature. It's exactly the same thing. So when we're talking about how we're going to get these chords, how we, what are chords? How do they even make sense? This is all the theory knowledge behind that. So well done. And by the end of the video, like I said, you'll be writing your own songs. Heaps of fun. So in the key signature of C major, there are these notes, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. We're going to use those notes in different orders to create chords. We're going to use those chords to create songs. Super easy. So all you need to remember is that there's tones and semitones. A tone is two frets and a semitone is a single fret. So this is the order. If we played C, the next note is D, so we go up a tone. The next note is E, we go up another tone. F, we go up a single fret, or a semitone. Then we go up a tone, then another tone, then another tone, then a semitone. If that went straight over your head and you're not sure, don't worry, we keep coming back to this same theory. So you'll, you'll build upon it, okay? So tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. That's how we use those notes to get C major. And now we're gonna use that group of notes or the key signature to build chords. Easy. Now in music, you've got lots of different types of chords, but really comes down to variations of three different types of chords. They're the main chords that you'll come across. Major chords. If major is a bit too hard to remember, think of happy sounding chords. You've got minor chords or sad sounding chords. You may not come across them as much, but you've got diminished chords. And that's it, which is focus on those three chords. So you've got major, happy sounding, minor, and diminished, even sadder sounding. And a little bit sort of, ooh, something's about to happen, that sort of a vibe. Major, minor, diminished. So now we're gonna combine all that knowledge. Okay, so there's those notes again. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. White notes on the piano, there's no sharps or flats. Think about those notes at the bottom of the screen. All that we're gonna do is we're gonna turn each and every one of those notes into a chord. So the first, and it's the same order of the chords for any major key signature. So for the first, C, it's C major. This is the chord, here's the fingerings. Pause if you need to. Next is D minor, a sad sounding chord. Next is E minor. F major, happy sounding chord. G major, A minor, and B diminished. There's that third type of chord there. And then it goes back to C, which is C major. So just think, we've got happy chords, sad chords, and very sounding chords, diminished. Happy, sad, very sad. So that's it, that order of chords doesn't change. So if you're in a different key signature, let's say you go up and you're in the key signature of D major, all right, well, you just take that same order, tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. And you build chords that way. So the first would be D major. The next would be E minor. The next would be F sharp minor. And just so on and so on. So that's the order. So a key signature is a group of notes. You take that group of notes and you build chords. There's the order of chords. So, all right, this is the final thing. You've made it to the end of the video, so well done. Ha what do we do with that knowledge, Pat? This is too much knowledge, I don't understand. Okay, if you were to take those chords 
and put them into a hat. So C major, D minor, E minor, F major. If you were to take them and put them into a hat, if you pick them up in any different order and just pick four, you've got a four chord song and they will sound awesome. So let's just say I pick C, A minor, G and F major. Okay, so C. The reason it sounds great is rather than be a painter with a blank canvas and you have all the colors of the world, I'm only giving you a select amount of colors or a select amount of notes to use. And all of those notes sound great together. So if you were to instead play a C major scale over those chords, it would sound amazing because the same notes that you're using in the scale are the same notes that are in the chords, are the same notes that's in the key signature. Do you see where I'm going? It's all the same. So here's a list of songs that are in the key of C major. So many songs. They all just use different chords like what we just learned. C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, B diminished, and back to C. So that's it. They're all the chords in one key signature. What we're going to do with this course is every couple of months we're going to be into a new key signature. I'm going to smash out this info again and we're going to learn all the chords in another key signature. But here was our very first one. So well done for make it to the end. So how would you practice this? Okay, most important. How are you going to use this information? How are you going to actually retain that knowledge? Is go back and check out those chords. I'll play them one more time. any of this that you're not sure about, write a song, choose two of them, and just focus on changing between two, choose three, or choose four, and you've written your own song. It really is that easy. Just choose four randomly out of a hat. Lots more videos on songwriting coming up. Thank you so much for making it through this video. See you all again very soon. Bye.